Although May 30, 1868, is cited as the first national commemoration of Memorial Day at Arlington National Cemetery, events led by African Americans in Charleston, South Carolina, to decorate the graves of fallen Civil War soldiers occurred on May 1, 1865, less than a month after the Confederacy surrendered. Reports of this early version of Memorial Day, or Decoration Day as it was called, were rediscovered in the Harvard University archives in the late 1990s by historian David Blight, author of the 2018 biography, Frederick Douglass, Prophet of Freedom. To quote from History.com, When Charleston fell and Confederate troops evacuated the badly damaged city, those freed from enslavement remained. One of the first things those emancipated men and women did was to give the fallen Union prisoners a proper burial. They exhumed the mass grave and reinterred the bodies in a new cemetery with a tall whitewashed fence inscribed with the words, Martyrs of the Race Course. And then on May 1, 1865, something even more extraordinary happened. According to two reports that Blight found in the New York Tribune and the Charleston Courier, a crowd of 10,000 people, mostly freed and slave people with some white missionaries, staged a parade around the racetrack. 3,000 black school children carried bouquets of flowers and sang John Brown's Body. Members of the famed 54th Massachusetts and other black Union regiments were in attendance and performed double-time marches. Black ministers recited verses from the Bible. Despite the size of the gathering and the newspaper coverage, the memory of this event was, quote, suppressed by white Charlestonians in favor of their own version of the day. Blight stated in the New York Times in 2011. On May 31, 2010, near a reflecting pool at Hampton Park, the city of Charleston reclaimed this history by installing a plaque commemorating the site as the place where blacks held the first Memorial Day on May 1, 1865. During the dedication of the plaque, the city's mayor at the time, Joe Riley, was present to celebrate the historic occasion, which included a brass band and a reenactment of the Massachusetts 54th Regiment. In 2017, the city of Charleston erected yet another sign reclaiming the history and commemorating the event. To quote it, On May 1, 1865, a parade to honor the Union War dead took place here. The event marked the earliest celebration of what became known as Memorial Day. The crowd numbered in the thousands with African-American school children from newly formed freedmen schools leading the parade. They were followed by church leaders, freed people, unionists, and members of the 54th Massachusetts, 34th, and 104th U.S. Colored Infantries. The dead were later reinterred in Beaufort, end quote. To learn more about...